Hello dear friends, Fisher here. So today we continue to uh, talk about our stories, um, The Power of the Spirit by Alfred Hosp. And then today we continue with our uh, story 56, part B. And Bruno said, Therefore, be continuously thankful for the hours of work we share together. What have I already said many times before? You you are all in a working community. As you grade when it was founded here three years ago, I have called this working community to life only here. In Stephen Skirchen, not to pick you out as something special, but rather to hand over to you the task that has been ordained by God, and that is to be a link between Austria and Germany, that is, between the north and the south of our common cultural area. It is no coincidence that the German and Austrian friends meet together so often in precisely this place. Through your spiritual experiences, you should grow together into a unity and form a bulwark against the divisive intentions of the evil side. And if this does not succeed over the long term, and then this work also will be threatened with the splitting. This shattered crystal vase should remain in the memories of everyone here as a warning and should clearly demonstrate to you how fragile the good is when it is not cherished and protected by the selfless love of human beings of goodwill. Never forget this, my dear friends. Up to now, I have done everything for you, and I am still doing it now, day and night, more than you know or even suspect. And what do you do for me? Yes, you are looking at me in complete uh, astonishment, because I have never spoken about this before. But now, the time has come, and I repeat, what are you doing for me? Who helps me? Who asks me? Who gives any thought to whether I ever need something? Uh, yes, dear friends, so here Bruno continuously stressed how important for human beings of any country to stay unity, to work together, to strive for the task that has been ordained by God, whether that's between um, Austria and Germany or between Eng England and France. Every human being, and then we all here on earth, for our tasks, for our missions to complete. The good question we always ask ourselves is, what I'm here for on earth? Am I just here to have a nice house, have a nice car, have a nice girlfriend, boyfriend, have a nice children, and then enjoy my life and have nice food, of course? What I am here, what I'm here on earth for, what is my task from God? What God wants? And then always stay in unity, especially this terrible time in the human history. Yes, dear friends, the devil and God's battle is already had begun. And then now we just uh, in the middle of crossfire. So there's so much evil and negative energies in this world now, right now, in human society. You feel it for yourself. How many people around you are so fearful of whatever going on in this world? They're so worried about their future. They're so stressed. They're so sad. They're so depressed. Whatever the negative words, the negative emotion you could use, and and it is there, dear friend. That is what the devil wants us to feel. Remember the old saying, 
It's written in Bible. There's no fear in love, and yes, okay, we might remember that. But how often do we put it in practice? How often do we think about it? There is no fear in love. Are we in love or are we in fear? You ask yourself, dear friends. I have so many people around me. The daily, you know, they're sad, they're scared, they're worried, they're fearful. All the human beings, and often we just worry about, fear about, over our perceived illusion. If we cannot overcome our negative emotions, all those negative emotions. And then we cannot think straight. Now, ask yourself, dear friends, what is the most important things in your life? What you here for? Are you here on earth just to stay in fear? Yes, I know there's so many dangerous things around us. There's so many worries around us. You, you, you always have something to worry about. You have endless to-do list. And what are you here for? But to grow as human being, not grow physically alone, not being healthy physically alone, but we are here for our special spiritual reasons, to serve God, to serve our friends, our communities around us, to serve the Mother Earth, to restore the damaged, destroyed environment. We are here for a good purpose. Of course, we're gonna serve ourselves too. We need to first re remain healthy, and remain loving ourselves, and then we can pass it on our good to other people. It is very simple. If we do not have the good, we cannot pass on the good. Nobody can give what they don't have. And always stay in unity. I know the consciousness has been splitted in this time. And lots of people do not hold the same wheels like you, but that is okay. And then that should not be a reason why that you should just push people away and don't want to talk to them. And then I have that kind of feeling too, dear friends. So I have so many people around me, and they used to have a friends. They don't share like a、uh, same view to me together, and I gradually lose some friends. It's very difficult, especially when you talk to your families. They don't share the same view with you, but rather contrast. You believe the left, and they believe the right. It is very difficult, but that's okay. We can still love them. You don't have to force them to accept your opinions, but you can still love them and do your best to stay unity together, especially in unity with. All the like-minded people around you. Without unity, and then we are so vulnerable to the evil's attack. It is very simple. God is unity, and evil is division. Whatever things in the world happens, serve a purpose to divide human beings. Any law passed, whatever the law is, it serves a purpose. To divide human beings is evil. Any events, any things happen in the world to unite human beings, to help us treating each other like brothers or sisters, is God. Is of God. Is what God has want for humanity. God want humanity to unite as one, as we all are one with God. Division is evil, and also Bruno here, and he asks、uh, quite a few questions, which is he hardly asks before. Is what do you do? What does、uh, he, his friends? What do his friend do for him? And he said, "I, I always do things for you. What do you do for me?" Have you ever thought about what I need, dear friends? How often this happens in your life? 
and then you always get a nice uh, dishes from your mom and dad and then you get it and day by day and then you take it for granted and then have you ever thought about what can you what you can do for your parents or what can you do for your partners your friends often we are so used to receive yes we receive on our left hand and on our right hand we need to give this we have the balance always think what we can do for others apart from what we can do for ourselves not only what we can receive we receive the love from god and we pass it on we do not just hold it for ourselves we receive the money from god and then we pass it on to the people in need and then we do not just hold it for ourselves dear friends always ask yourself what can you do for yourself and what can you do for the people around you love yourself and love others like yourself I wish you have a good day and god bless